Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be going through the announcement that was made on May 7th regarding the Becca Cosmetics concealer that has now been voluntarily recalled. So if you want to know more about this recalled product, then just keep watching. Okay, so the reason why I wanted to make this video is because recalls don't happen that often. I mean, there's definitely a few every single year, but they're not a super frequent occurrence, not rare by any means either, but I just thought it was an interesting opportunity to speak about this recall, why the product was recalled, and why this is a good thing from the company's standpoint on why they did do this recall for their product. Okay, so Becca Cosmetics announced this recall of the Light Shifter Brightening Concealer on May 7th, 2020, and the reason for the announcement and for the recall is potential mold. So essentially, a brownish black material identified as common household mold was found on the sponge tip applicator of some of the units. And they also state, while this is unlikely to cause in serious injury, there's a potential risk of temporary skin and or eye allergy and irritation. To date, no adverse reactions or injuries have been reported. So this is a voluntary recall. The FDA did not contact Becca Cosmetics and tell them they have to recall the product. It was done by Becca Cosmetics and Becca Cosmetics decided to notify the FDA about the recall of these products. So the recall does include all of the shades um, and then there is a ton of different batch codes that have been affected and I'll just put them on the screen right here. I'll also include a, a link to the FDA announcement down in the description box below so you can go check that out and read this report for yourself. Um, essentially, all the rest that they say is if you have this product, please stop using it and contact the place of purchase regarding a refund. Okay, so I just want to take a minute to recognize that this is a really good thing. I mean, the fact that these products have been found to have mold is not a good thing, but the way the company handled the situation is a really good thing. Um, they must have done some internal testing and found that there was this household mold growing on the sponge tip applicator. And then they decided to recall the products without having any reported adverse events, which means that so far none of the consumers are actually aware that there's going to be an issue with their product or that there is an issue with their product. This also means that likely it's a small percentage of the actual products that were made that's affected. But even though that's still that's the case, they are going to recall the entire product line, all of the shades, all of the batches, and just make sure that there is no potential for risk. Now in manufacturing, these things do happen. Perhaps there was moisture already on the sponge tip applicator before the product went in for filling. It's really hard to know where the source of this mold could have come from, but chances are it's just an issue with mold exposure and then excess moisture on that sponge tip applicator. Is this a reason not to trust Be Becca Cosmetics? Absolutely not. These things happen in manufacturing and what's great is they did the right thing by contacting the FDA and voluntarily recalling all the products before there was consumer issues. A lot of brands don't do a lot of internal testing, would never know that there was mold and even if they did could potentially not recall the product. Um, just out of a risk assessment and essentially hoping that not many people have the affected product. But in this case, this is definitely the right thing to do. They made a good call by voluntarily recalling all the product. So if you do have the Becca Cosmetics Light Shifter Brightening Concealer, do contact your place of purchase, uh, get your refund, stop using the product immediately. And if you have had any eye irritation or allergies then definitely reach out to Becca Cosmetics and the FDA and let them know that there was an adverse event um, that could be relating to this product but chances are even if you did experience a little bit of eye irritation you wouldn't have known what it was from and it's like they said not extremely harmful to you just can cause mild irritation. They also do state that no other Becca Cosmetics products are affected by this issue. So it really just is an isolated event. Something went wrong with the manufacturing of these concealers. They found it and they just want everyone to stop using the products, get a refund from your place of purchase. So yeah, I just thought it was interesting to share this with you guys because these recalls don't happen that often. Like I said, a few times a year. Um, and more often actually with skincare, body care products than with actual makeup and cosmetics. So I just thought it was an interesting kind of case study or example to share with you guys of a good practice that a company can have when recalling, uh, voluntarily recalling their products because there was 
an issue that was found internally. Like I mentioned before, I am going to link the FDA statement down in the description box below. Well, it's actually the company announcement that the FDA posts on their recall page. So I will share that with you guys and you can go check it out yourself. But I just thought this might be a little interesting tidbit of information to share with you guys and just, you know, understand that these things happen, but it's not a reason not to trust the company or to file a lawsuit. It is a voluntary recall that they are taking the initiative and being proactive on the situation just to ensure that there are no adverse events because there haven't been so far. So yeah, I just thought it was a really good example of what a company should do if they do find an internal error with their manufacturing, an issue with their product, and then issuing a recall with the FDA. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.